How to start Amazon FBA from scratch literally this year. There's a lot of things that have changed since probably some of the old videos that you've watched on YouTube. Um, so take your phone, throw it out the window because you're gonna need to focus over the next 10 minutes if you want to master the magic behind Amazon FBA and more importantly, learn about a few catastrophic mistakes that you absolutely have to avoid if you want to have a chance of being successful with Amazon FBA this year. Really quick before we actually do get into the content, first I wanted to say thank you for being here. If you're not already, welcome to The Strongest Family on YouTube. Make sure that you tap that like button until it turns blue and subscribe and turn on those bells. And the second and final thing that I will so humbly request is that you comment down below Amazon FBA product research. And if we get 500 comments that say Amazon FBA product research, then we will actually drop a brand new part two of this video. And so without further ado, let's jump into my computer and let's talk about how you can get started with Amazon FBA completely from scratch from anywhere in the world starting right now. Let's go. All right guys, welcome into my screen. So in today's video, we're gonna be using a software tool called Zonbase, right? Z-O-N base.com. There will be a link down in the description for a completely free trial, but trying to be successful in today's day and age on Amazon FBA without using a software tool is kind of like trying to swim down a river without using a boat, right? There are tools that are set up to make you successful. And if other people are using them and you're not, it just puts you at a big disadvantage when you could flip that and you could have a big advantage by using these tools when other people don't, right? Getting started for free, it's a complete no brainer. So what we're going to do is starting inside of Zonbase, we're going to be using a tool called Zon Research. Now inside of Zon Research, you can see a few different things. There's the product category, there's the keyword category, there's the pin category. We're going to be focusing on keywords. Now I want to make a very important distinction and this is a huge mistake that a lot of people make. See what, what, what happens is people will actually go to the product research tool of any of the softwares out there, right? And let's just select a preset really quick um, and click search so I can show you guys what this looks like, right? If you go to the product section and you actually fill out, you know, your filters, choose your categories, things like that, that does work, right? But it only shows you single successful products, right? One of the reasons that I like to use the keywords tab is because the keywords tab actually shows you overall product niches. And so what you'll see, for example, is like kids lunchbox for girls, right? This particular product has almost 7,000 in monthly revenue, only 55 reviews, right? But if we actually went and try to find this particular product on Amazon, for example, right? What I'm guaranteeing you right now is that if you type in kids lunchbox for girls, right into the overall Amazon product research search bar, right? You can see that there's way more reviews here, 5,500, 950, 37,000. And so the problem that a lot of beginners do is when they're actually searching under products is they'll find one successful product, right? But the other products in the niche are extremely high competition. And so what we're gonna do by using keywords is instead of you know potentially finding one product where the rest of the products in that niche are very competitive, right? What we wanna do is find a niche itself that is not competitive, right? So what we're gonna do is click keywords here, and then we're gonna go to select a preset and click base hit, right? <clears throat> what this is gonna do is it's automatically gonna select, um, you know, many different products for us. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go ahead and click search. Now what we can see is instead of actually returning us individual products, right? What Zonbase did is it went out and found the averages of this particular search term, right? And what we're actually getting accomplished here by using keywords rather than products is we know that an overall niche, right? All of the products of a particular type on Amazon are all open for us to actually have a chance at competing, right? If there's too much competition uh, with a product niche, I'm not even gonna get involved, right? I only wanna get involved if there's high demand for that product niche, but relatively low supply. Supply, right? Simple supply and demand like everything else in life. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to go ahead where it says Wake Surfboard and we're gonna go open this on Amazon. Let's take a look at some of these other ones. We can see that there's another one. Pallet Jack is another interesting one. Pizza Warmer is another interesting one. 
right? So these are overall niches, which means that Zonbase is pre-populating this particular search term in the Amazon search bar. What we can see here is a lot of sponsored results, which we like to see. Um, and so what we're gonna do is actually run the handy dandy Chrome extension on Pizza Warmer. We're also gonna come over here. We see three different sponsored products, or excuse me, two. Um, again, we're gonna run the Chrome extension here. And then here's the Wake surfboards. We see four sponsored results here. Um, we see some that are, you know, kind of poor reviews, some that are good reviews. We're also gonna run the Zonbase Chrome extension, right? And so what we're gonna do is when we jump back to this first product, we can see, you know, some much more important numbers related to Pizza Warmer, right? We can see that the average monthly revenue is over 17,000, which is good, right? I like to look for products that have over 10 thousand dollars a month assuming a 20 to 25 percent conservative profit margin i want to make sure that it's worth my time right we can see that the average reviews are a little high but we do see that there are some that are actually pretty you know advantageous we can see that this product has over 17k a month with only 65 reviews this one does you know 40k a month with only 29 reviews so this is 100 percent a product that i would want to actually look deeper into when it comes to you know all sorts of things um, that are actually important um, related to this product right <clears throat> if we wanted to we can even go in a little bit deeper um, look at the sales history we can get an income statement um, you know where we're actually targeting how much uh, profit percentage or profit per unit that we're looking for we can enter our cash flow we can look at the number of units that we can afford right all of these extremely extremely valuable things um, you know all available to you literally at the click of a button here inside of the Zonbase Chrome extension so pizza warmer definitely one that I would want to actually look deeper into we can see that this one pallet jack generally these products are not making that much money right some of them are like this one's doing 23,000 with only 39 reviews um, so there is some space in the niche but this is a big heavy expensive product um, and so this wouldn't be for a beginner generally because of the cost of goods sold would probably be just uh, be too high but it's certainly not a product that I would completely ignore as it is making a significant amount of sales and then last but not least the wake surfboard we can see it does about almost 9,000 monthly revenue with only 34 average reviews so this is one of the um, you know, best that we've seen when it comes to reviews. Um, monthly revenue is on average pretty high for many of these as well. Um, so again, definitely a product that I would look deeper into. Um, and so what I would do, for example, if I wanted to learn more about any particular product is I would come in here and I would actually um, you know, open up uh, one of these. Let's actually choose one that has kind of the best stats here, right? And what I'm looking for is something that has high revenue and low reviews. Um, so here's one that's doing really well. Um, so what we're gonna do is maybe three tier food warmer. Looks like the, the keyword here. Um, so if we go to alibaba.com, what we're gonna do is actually type in three tier food warmer and click search. And what we can see is there's a bunch of different options from you know $9 a piece, $13, $110, depending on which type it is, right? This one's $33 per unit. Um, so if we bought this for $33 per unit and we sold it for $329 per unit, right? My general rule of thumb is I like to buy products that I think I can sell for 10 times more on Amazon. Meaning that if my final landed cost for this product was 300 and, uh, you know, was $32.95, um, then I would be able to sell it for 10 times that or $300. $129.95. And so that's kind of the process of going about finding an overall product keyword niche, right? So that you know the entire niche and keyword is very, um, you know, advantageous when it comes to more demand than there is supply. Um, then we actually go ahead and find that product from an overseas manufacturer. And then last but not least, what we're going to do is actually generate our listing. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this particular product. We're going to come back into Zonbase here and we're going to go to listing optimization. We're going to go to listify. Now, what we're gonna do is we are going to actually take this URL from this product that we just copy and pasted, and we're gonna paste it directly into Listify. And now what's gonna happen is Zonbase is actually going to import this particular listing, their keywords, their phrases, um, the listing analysis, all these sorts of things, so that we can actually go about writing out our own listing for this product, knowing that this is one of the best selling, highest ranking products organically, according to Amazon. Now, if you wanna do it even easier than that, what we can do is come over to here where it says listify one more time, um, click this, and then what we're gonna do is try our listing artificial intelligence beta tool, right? Now, this tool still is in beta as of right now, um, but what we would do is actually come back here um, and we would actually type in food warmer, 
and click generate. And Zonbase is literally gonna do a lot of the heavy lifting for us, go out and find us an SEO optimized, uh, machine learning optimized uh, listing where we can actually rest assured that the highest keyword volume and highest converting keywords are likely to be you know, actually involved there. So what we're gonna do is actually go ahead and click on one of these that I've already filled out. I did binoculars for adults already. Um, so we're gonna load this one. And as you can see, Zonbase's machine learning and artificial intelligence actually created me a title, bullet points, um, you know, and a description and search terms, literally from the highest keyword volume, highest converting keywords um, on these other pre-existing organically ranking listings. And so we just covered how to go about finding an overall home run potential product niche and avoiding the mistake of actually going after a single product. Um, you know, we talked about how to actually go about sourcing um, that product from an overseas manufacturer on Alibaba. We talked about a common mistake where people actually try to, you know, source products that are only, you know, half as much as they're actually gonna sell it for. There's not enough margin there, right? My rule of thumb is whatever you buy it for, your landed cost, right, the final price on Amazon should be around 10 times higher. Now, if it's seven times, is that okay? Yes. Is it 12 times? Is that okay? Yes. It's just a general rule of thumb to keep in mind that there are, you know, cost of goods sold, shipping, PPC um, types of expenses that you do want to be in mindful of from the beginning. And then we talked about how to actually go ahead and create a machine learning and artificial intelligence listing um, where Zonbase does the heavy lifting for you with something that used to take weeks, if not months or more. And so if you're enjoying the video so far, tap the like button, subscribe, turn on those bells and comment down below Amazon FBA product research. And like I said, if we get 500 comments that say Amazon FBA product research, we will drop a crazy part two of this video that I promise you are going to love. Or if you just want to hang out here on YouTube and watch more awesome videos just like this one, stay tuned because we have an exciting brand new playlist coming to you live in three, two, one. Click the playlist in the middle of the screen, guys. See you there.